<coughs> Hello, my name is Lee Seung-woo and I'm a graduated student. Today, I will present about my research paper. The title of my research is the application of adhesion lithography to organic inorganic multilayer thin film encapsulation. My research is area selective ALD. Area selective ALD using ALD, which is atomic layer deposition. This deposition using atomic layer one by one, so it has very fine layer, and it can using used at many industrial for flexible organic light emitting diode displays on organic inorganic thin film encapsulation structure that block external moisture or oxygen is essential to ensure a long lifetime of organic devices to effectively prevent moisture permission to the organic devices a high density inorganic thin film with excellent moisture barrier properties is required. However, some inorganic thin film alone are fragile because they are so thin and they are very they have very hard hard structure. So organic inorganic multilayers are needed. So it's <coughs> organic inorganic multilayer are commonly used to flexibly to the TF thin film encapsulation structure. In display industry, all the display are evolving to become more flexible and needs to have thinner measures. So thin film encapsulation is becoming increasingly important not only to implement thin badger but also block moisture through the side around the structure. But conventional side wall patterning have very low resolution and have very long process time. Mm, patterns of inorganic film are commonly grown by ARD and PCVD which commonly using organic pattern are require photolithography process. This photolithography process have wrong process process steps so this complexity increasing the number of process layer increase. To reduce this complexity, a simpler patterning method is needed. Also after display deposition there are several several additional processes that cutting display panels. In this process there can be crack on display panel and this crack can propagate to or display panel. To solve this problem, thin film encapsulation patterning also needed. In this study, I using several materials and process to patterning on substrate. In this study, I using lift up and area de deactivation as I shown in figure. Fourth, I using deactivation method which delay ALD deposition. To make this, I control and change several process condition like process and part time, temperature and SAM materials. SAM is self assembled monolayer and it deactiv deactivates surface and delay ALD deposition. But every process condition control cannot block deposition completely as desirably, so I using another method. Second is almost same with fourth one. In this study, I change uh, SAM material, as I said in self-assembled monorail, 
this block already processed, so I think I, I thought this can completely block the ALD position and I control server process condition but in this case I also can't block ALD position so after this I need to find another method after the deactivation I using adhesion lithography method instead this using adhesion difference between several material surfaces. To using this, I calculate work of adhesion between materials. By this, I can find the adhesion between alumina and silicon sub substrate is higher. So, if we using some adhesive by using adhesion lithography. I can patterning on surface and lift up patterned alumina. After lift up process, I using XPS to analysis surface materials and I can I confirm confirm every alumina on patterned surface are removed. After I using lift adhesion lithography method I found resolution of this adhesion lithography. As in this picture there are several patterns which have different patterning resolution. After patterning this on silicon substrate surface I can lift up several resolution patterns and so I can find resolution of highest resolution of this resol lift up process. After this, I using FIB SEM, I mean focused ion bin SEM. This show the sharpness of edge of pattern and complete and, and confirm complete removal of alumina on patterned surface. After this I using multi-layer size wall patterning. This side wall patterning is very important because as I, as I said in introduction in OLED in OLED display industry this side wall patterning is very important and my research show this side wall patterning is enable this multi layer using several some process to fabricate organic inorganic multilayer. Process step is like this as figure. So oh, I mean this this process using lift up process and PCVD to organic layer and I repeat this and I can make I can fabricate some organic inorganic multilayer multi-layer thin film. After I fabricate this multi-layer thin film, I I using FIB SAM to confirm the structure of this organic inorganic multi-layer thin film. As this image show, I can I may fabricate this multi-layer as organic inorganic material thin film so this is my research and my presentation thank you